and welcome back to another daily grind video uh to all the newer subscribers um these videos uh for daily grinding is really just me giving tips and showing you what i go through on a daily basis uh i really promote spending as little as <laughs> little amount of time uh grinding a day for arena uh just cuz you know uh can be daunting to be like oh man i got to get all these wins and all these things and whatnot, you know, grinding is grueling. And, you know, um, if you have a full-time job or you just have a bunch of other things you got to do, um, it's tough sometimes to sit there and do match after match after match after match. And especially with the daily wins, it's really, really tough to, uh, <laughs> to get wins on arena sometimes. So, um, so yeah, so this is just me going over what I do on a daily basis. So, uh, I kind of give myself like 30 minutes at most when it comes to grinding on arena. And then I kind of like, all right, I, if, if I got a win, cool. If not, you know, I get what I get. So first things first, always the, the dailies, right? It's the most important thing. So I have a uh, cast 30 black or green spells. Cool. Uh, sounds awesome. So I, and it's uh 750 uh, gold. Now I got this 500. And I'm going to re-roll it to see if I get another 750. No. Ooh, I got to kill 15 of your opponent's creatures. Okay. So, rule of thumb is uh, try not to do your 500s unless you're maxed out, right? If you have three of them, uh, try to re-roll. And if you still don't have 500 or 750, do one of them. Uh, generally, try to do something like this. <sighs> well... Killing 15 of your opponent's uh, creatures is kind of tough sometimes. It's not as easy as you'd think. Um, casting spells is super easy. Uh, and I'll show you. And I'll give you an example of what I run for this. Uh, let's go explore play. So I have these favorited ones, as you can see. Uh, there's just, yeah, like blue-black spells, white-blue spells, white-black spells, blah, blah, blah. So the black-green spells, I'll show you a good example of uh grinding with the least amount of effort <laughs> so when it asks you to play green or black spells uh a, gr a multicolored spell counts for two so when i cast a th death right shaman that counts for two so instead of casting 30 of them i'm actually just casting um 15 you know so easier right less time spent playing um on arena um and so i'm gonna go into it playing uh black green spells and i play just the regular um i don't play ranked i play just play um it just seems to sometimes there's less people with uh like you know top tier decks um but sometimes you do run into the into the top tier decks because again winning is tough and when you have a top tier deck and you just go into regular the regular play queue instead of the ranked queue you are able there's a higher chance of you getting wins so i don't blame people for doing it but it does frustrate me sometimes when i'm just playing some basic deck and i'm playing a deck that wins super quickly right mm. and i don't mean like an aggro deck i mean just legitimately like a top tier deck okay cool um I'm going to keep this. I'm on the draw. Um, I may be playing. Uh, I may be playing against. Uh, is it Phoenix? I doubt it. Should be a blue red land. Usually. Yeah. So this might be. Oh, no. It most likely is. Oh, it's easy. Yeah, exactly. This is a top tier deck in the regular queue. Uh, again. I don't blame them, but it's also frustrating because I'm playing a very janky deck. The whole point of these decks is to be able to survive long enough um, yeah, uh, to survive long enough and um, play as many spells as possible. It's not like these decks don't really aim to win there you can win with these decks right um but for the most part um 
not meant to win. I'm going to play these two. So now I've played two, four, six, six spells out of 30. So getting there. Hopefully. Hmm? Okay. They didn't attack. Interesting. Um, this is negative three, negative one. Five mana. I mean, token really I mean I'm just gonna do it now because I can Sorry, but yeah uh, <laughs> I don't think they realize what death right trying did um and honestly this is a good example of why you just play because Sometimes, like, again, I don't blame people for playing in the uh, non-ranked. They're probably just testing out the deck and saying, okay, let me see if I can pilot it before I go into ranked. I get it, but, um, like, I, I want to attribute that win to better play. Um, and I'm going into Magic and giving this advice to... Uh, players, players who may not know how to play magic very well or are still learning or just don't play it all the time, but you know, they're, they like to play, but they're not super competitive. They're not super, you know, into the game, which is fine. Cause I have friends who do that. Right. Uh, they're not, um, what's the word? They're not super into the, the strategic, the strategies of magic. You know, the and and oh man, I always forget this word. I, I can't pronounce it. Ant antiquity in Yeah, that I'm sorry, my wife's telling me how to say it. I still can't. Antiquity and intricacy intricacy intricacies. Intricacies? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I don't know, man. I that word um which is fine. Like I, I don't um uh, I don't blame my friends. I don't blame players who just want to sit down and have some fun. Um, I'm going to cancel that. I'm going to place full profit. Uh, just so I can have four mana next turn, I can Vraska. Maybe get rid of the... Oh, they stuck on two lands? That'd be great for me. Assassin's Trophy. Um, yeah, future fry would be nice, but I think I need to Vraska Flamo. Um, I kind of want to drown. Yeah. Because I have ways to kill the Ruin Crab. Not too worried about the Ruin Crab. Mm hmm. Read ahead, target player, mill spell cards, probably. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Let's go. And then you play it for turn. Hey. Ah. Oh. Damn. Okay. Well, I'm down to 32. Good thing I killed the Drown Secrets because. Nice. I like it. I like it. Um. I was hoping for a land so I can uh, Assassin's Trophy and Putrefy. That's fine, though. That's fine. 
Um, Okay. Um, Savvy Hunter would be nice for that, but I think what I'm going to do... I'm going to putrefy the Rune Crab. Plus one. Sometimes sacrifice is necessary. Sacrifice not permanent? No. And then... No attack something. Doesn't matter, they're just gonna block the Merfolk. So what's the point? I'm getting rid of their ways to mill me though. This is a card from Gary, copy it, you may cast it. No. Yep. Yeah. It's half my deck. Over half my deck. Yep, that's fine. Interesting. Guessing the consider. Okay. All right. Draw card. Is it any good? It's not a land. That's for sure. Um, uh, putrefy is cool. Um, it's just annoying that. You know. I think I'm gonna minus kill that. What can I say? Death is cheap. Putrefy this. And pass turn. I'm at what? 22? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, milling four. Got him. Down to 18. Okay. Eight, okay. Down to 10. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, I'm gonna play this land. Um, I'm gonna play Witherbloom Apprentice, and I'm gonna play Savvy Hunter. I have an Assassin's Trophy to destroy anything that is annoying. Jace. Well, good game. That is, yeah, it's part, what a draw. GG. Bam, dead. I mean, yeah, it was the perfect draw for them. I was, I mean, I would have eventually lost. I mean, I was down to 10. All right, so there you go. We played a good amount. Um, so you think about it, we only really played nine spells. So because we're playing a black green, we, yeah, no. Instead of nine spells, we got, what was that? 18? 18. Now it's doing two matches, too. So, like, getting this done twice the speed helps, right? That's why I, I always do this. Um, sometimes I do come out with wins, like the first match. Uh, you know, I, I can come up with a win occasionally. Um, if I outplay my opponent, my opponent misplays um and i take advantage of it um it you know I'm like oh crap and then because winning doesn't matter in regular play um you know oh no i do want to i hope i get a non or an untapped land next turn oof okay Dang. All right. Well, that sucks. I'm guessing it's spirit. 
It is not. Interesting. Is this... Is this blue eye control? I'm assuming it's blue eye control at this point. Nope. Three mana. Okay. Well, yeah, I wish I had an untapped land. I would have played Raska and killed the ledger. Whatever. Next turn, I'll Raska and minus to kill the ledger shredder. What is this? I don't know what they're playing. Blue white? Flyers, maybe? No. What? There wouldn't be that many. Okay. Beginning of, your, uh, beginning of each opponent's. Okay, all right. Um, I have four. Definitely the Nebraska. Kill that. Deathright Shaman. Boom. So how many? One, two, three, four. Four times two is eight. So I'm currently at like 26. So I have like two more spells. I'm good. And this triggers this to cost two less. So. What are they doing? What are they doing? Nice. Okay. Cool. Um, because what does this do? Is it across the cast spell? It's also starts in the graveyard. Okay. Um, I'm well, gonna do this. Uh, um, Target creature. Just modify that. And I'll play another Death Right Shaman. Because I can. I'll plus. Don't dwell on what decline. Um. Yeah, I'll swing for one. Why not? <laughs> yeah, next turn I can start. Killing things or eggs lying in their graveyard. Ooh. Let's play Glissa. We'll plus. An unfortunate we'll decline. Pet. Play this. And my six cards. I'm gonna exile this sorcery. Yeah, why not? We'll exile this. Bam. You can lose two. Two of the gaps. Okay. Oh, because he makes it cost one less. Uh, well, no tax. Hand turn. Consider. Okay. Can you pump him up to five? Oh. Yeah, they'll probably kill the Vraska, which is fine. That's five life I'm not taking. Or more. I don't know what it'll end up being. The death rites can bring down the the power down the road. Uh, what does Glissa do again? Hmm. Draw card, lose life, destroy target enchantment, remove up to three counters from target permanent. Mm. Bad, not bad. I'll probably just draw a card and lose a life. They're at ten. Fair, fair. Treasure cruise. 
So what's the white for? I haven't seen... Is it just soul partition? It's not often I'm out I guess so. I'm trying to think what else white is worth that. You know what I mean? Um, that doesn't really do much for me. Swinging. There we go. Definitely gonna enjoy instant sorcery. We'll do treasure cruise. And I'll enjoy instant sorcery. We'll exile what? Consider. Um, target non-creature, non-land permanent, and it's only two less. We'll just end the turn there. So, I mean, I'm pretty sure at this point I've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times two is fourteen. Yeah, I've I've gotten the challenge now. So at this point, it, it's really not. At this point, it's like can I win kind of thing, you know? Attack for three. Okay. Fine by me. I'll be eating two more instant sorcery or yeah, these two. Turn our creature mana value three or less from greater keeper. Oh, okay. I mean, sure. That. Swing for three. Yeah, sure. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna eat away at that. So it's making them lose, right? Down to five. Huh. Yeah, ten turn. It's fine. So... Yeah, I should be swinging with the Skull Prophet, honestly. Okay. I just tapped. Not really worried about it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, I'm not too worried about it, because... Now another treasure cruise. Oh. Sure. That fine by me. Um Do we have a counter? Oh. Yeah, I'm like, I think you lose. Fantastic. There you go. <laughs> we get the win. That was an interesting uh, deck, though. Uh, the white just... Bringing things back from the graveyard was just kind of bleh, weird. Um, I would have kept it mono blue. Yeah, personally, I don't know. 
we'll claim it. Um, cool. Well, there you go. That's the daily grind. It's really just aim for a challenge. Like I got it done what within thirty minutes. That's with me rambling about things. Um, and we got a couple wins out of it. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below of my uh or my grind video. Just to kind of go into more detail about it. Um, but basically four wins is kind of like the ideal point but honestly when you're grinding every day um just the challenge honestly just go in and play spells don't worry about wins um if you really do want wins just get one 250 gold is cool uh you know it, the other wins are cool too but it's it's only like what 100 per win for the next three wins that's why you go up to four because it's 200 250 350 455 550 in total uh after four wins of gold uh which is nice but also uh giving up 300 gold for not being irritated that you have to win four matches is, is i don't think that's a good trade right <laughs> uh so if you get one win cool if not honestly the amount of gold you get on your challenges is more important um plus you get 500 mastery experience uh which is good for your mastery pass right so uh, and there you go that's the daily daily challenge video um or arena daily grind video daily grind video there you go forgot the series's name i'm sorry but if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you enjoy my content overall, please subscribe. And I'll catch everyone next time. Bye-bye.